Well, a few weeks ago, we built this piece of furniture, and then we built this big one, and then we built that one. Yeah, this two small ones are gonna support the big one. So that means that this big one is gonna sit on the top of these two small ones. But, but before we can do that, we need to solve a big problem. I'm Duca. And I'm Roberta. And, and together, together we, we are, are building, building our, our own tiny shipping container house. So don't forget to subscribe. And to join us every Monday for a new episode. The problem is we realize that it's too heavy. And not that that's not gonna support, that's gonna support, it's fine. But created a small belly right on the center it bends. of this pen. Yeah, it, bend, it doesn't bend a lot. It's like half centimeter, that's five millimeters. But still, it's gonna look bad and the doors are gonna be crooked. So now, somehow, we need to reinforce this in order to stay straight. First idea was to reinforce with fiberglass. Yeah, we, we thought about just applying three layers of fiberglass with epoxy resin on the bottom. And we believe that it would work, but we are not really sure. So I don't know if you remember, uh, a year ago actually, a couple that came to visit us here and he helped us to paint the roof of the shipping container. If you didn't watch, there's a link here, you can watch this episode. And he always, when he comes here, we have like a huge problem and he helps us to solve. It just, just happens randomly. And this time he think, he gave us the idea that that was not gonna work. So we decided to try something else. We're gonna build a metal reinforcement in between both cabinets. That means we're gonna have a metal bar on the bottom underneath, underneath here. Yeah. So basically, that's what we just simulated and works. We believe that's gonna work, but we need to cut this bar and we need to weld some pieces together and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna Actually, build... Actually, we have wheels, yeah. news today. <laughs> we are gonna try to use the sticks Stick on the weld. weld machine. Yeah, the thing is, everything we've done so far was with MIG welding and I think MIG welding is really easy for who doesn't never weld it before. But we didn't. We don't have gas right now. We didn't rent the bottle of gas this week, so we're gonna try stick welding just to see if we can do using stick. Are you nervous? Yeah, seems harder, <laughs> but I think somehow we're gonna manage to do it. So let's get started. Time to try something new. That's pretty good. Exciting. It's been a long time. We don't do something new. Let's do it. Now it's gonna be for real. I mean, that was not enough training at all. What are you gonna do anyway?
Pretty good, huh? Getting there. The thing is, yesterday we didn't know we were gonna weld that, so I was not prepared to try a different kind of, a different method of welding. I never welded stick before, and I think I needed a little bit more research, a little bit more watching videos on YouTube, and now I think I'm gonna be a little bit more prepared because I watched a few videos yesterday and hopefully that it helps. But a lot trickier than MIG. MIG welding is so much easier, so much easier. But I guess I need some hours of that to get better. But I will learn, I won't give up. Not pretty yet. Still a little bit ugly, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah. Way better. And this one don't need to be pretty because it's not gonna show up. That's just for learning. That's why one of the reasons why we are doing stick because I just wanna practice and try. I think for today is enough, right? Yeah. I'm really, really, really tired and so hot and that's just too much growth for a really, really hot day. So tomorrow we'll come back and clean this up and we're gonna paint that and then we're gonna try to install that. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow.
by the way, this is zinc chromate primer. That's just the primer, so we can paint the final color tomorrow when, once this is dry. So let's wait until tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys understood. Let's explain how that's gonna work. So, the idea is that we are gonna screw this right where it is. Right now, the furniture is upside down. That means this is gonna be on the bottom in between this and that right here. And with this in place, screwing many different spots, we are hoping the furniture won't bend anymore. That's the idea. for this to dry actually we were supposed to paint this gray with the rest of the paint for the shipping container we thought we had but when we arrived here we just didn't have the color and we had this left over and it was a good surprise because it looks so cool yeah it's like chocolate yeah. yeah one more thing today we have a new patron that's so cool yeah we always love when we have new patrons this <laughs> feels like someone believe on our project that's pretty cool thanks so much james welcome on board and what else Next week. Next week we are going to finish this and we are going to install this and hopefully it's going to work. Yeah, we wanted to install this week but we, we are not going to make on time. This needs to dry otherwise it's going to crack when we put it in place and we don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, yeah. We, for now it's just a guess. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Do you think that's going to hold the weight and not let the furniture bend? I hope so. Let's hope so. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And we're going to find out that next week. So see you guys next, next week. week.